Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here. And today's review for you, let me tell you from firsthand experience, a man with a beard loves nothing more than melted chocolate and marshmallow. S'more Stout is an 8% stout from Shorts Brewing Company in Elk Rapids, Michigan. All right, it's been a few minutes since the last Shorts Brew on the channel. I think the last one was Juicy Brute, and that was a few months ago. But this one was a special request from front of the channel, Steve from Yala TV on the YouTubes. Now, this was initially available in the tap room before making its way into distribution within the last week or so. And I know some don't think of stouts as being a go-to summer style, but I think stouts are pretty awesome all time of the year. Summer, spring, fall, winter, whenever. And a good stout after a warm day can really help put your mind at ease. So let's take a look at the bottle. We'll get a look at the label. We'll get it into that glass. Now, I'm going to get to the point where I'm repeating these fun facts. But fun fact, Americans buy 90 pounds of marshmallow each year. And it's estimated that during the summer, 50% of the marshmallows purchased are used for s'mores. So let's take a look at the label here. Shorts going pretty simple like they have been on their bottles, at least. Uh, what we have at the top is shorts brew. It's a s'more stout. There is a picture of a marshmallow getting pressed above a fire between some graham crackers and chocolate. Uh, it does. It looks like there's some letters here, uh, but I, it looks like SBE or SBC Shorts Brewing Company. Wow, I'm a genius. So underneath that, it says s'more stout. Stout brewed with graham cracker crumbs, cholica, and marshmallow fluff that may contain artificial flavors. All right, good to know. And then on the side here, it says brewed and bottled by Shorts Brewing Company in Elk Rapids, Michigan, handmade by people who care. And it's 12 fluid ounces. Now I'm trying to look. They do put the, the brewed on date on these bottles, but it's usually on the neck. And this is an exceptionally dark bottle. And I am not seeing a bottled date uh, on here whatsoever. Of course, what will happen is after I'm done talking about this and I'm going to take all this stuff upstairs, I'm going to see the date and I'm going to say, you're an idiot because you didn't see the date and it was plain as day. And uh, yeah, I'm going to miss it. But you know what? It's new. OK, it came out relatively recently and I'm going to commit a bit of sacrilege here. I'm going to use a Bell's uh, snifter. I'm sorry, tulip snifter, snifter glass. I apologize. Anybody shorts that's watching anybody that loves shorts. I'm sorry I'm using a Bell's glass. It's the it's the one that I have right now. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this open and put a nose on the bottle here. Uh, regular old shorts cap, what you would expect to see from a shorts beer. So don't expect to see anything super extra awesome. It's the same cap they always use. Nose on the bottle. Wow, getting uh, wow, getting a lot of vanilla kind of marshmallowy scents, aromas out of this. A lot of chocolatey, uh, dark chocolate richness, really roasty malts on the nose coming out of the uh, bottle here. So let's go ahead and pour this. Very dark coming out of the bottle. Going to get a little more aggressive here and hopefully get a bit of a head. I almost I saw some kind of bubbling uh, through the bottle. And now that it's clear, I'm looking all around to see a date just to kind of beat a dead horse a little bit more. I see. Oh, I oh, what is this? No, it's not a date. That's like a batch number. OK, forget it. Pretend I didn't say that. OK, so looking at it here, the, the head is very small, maybe about a half a finger's worth of head. Really compact, though. It's kind of hanging around. It's not dissipating quickly. Sometimes you pour these, the, the head goes like, you know, ballistic and then it kind of dies down and, you know, just kind of peters out. The head's starting to kind of die a little bit. But let's hold this up to the light. Very dark, as you would expect. Uh, I talk about on these kind of these glasses, there's this bulb here where you can see like really the true color of the beer because it's it's thin enough. It's got a bit of a brown and purplish kind of hue to it and a nose on the glass. Lots of kind of chocolatey in there. I'm getting a little bit of vanilla, not so much as I thought I was getting out of the initial opening of the bottle. Getting a little bit more of the chocolate. I am getting a vanilla scent in there. I'm ready to dive right in because I want to see if some of that graham cracker is in there. So cheers. Mouthfeel is it's a little bit on the medium. It's a little bit on it's medium. So I kind of the last beer that I think I had that was similar to this was one of the Dragon's Milk Reserve, the um, maple oak. And that has a real thinness to the to the body. 
The mouth feels very thin. This is not like that. This is what I would think. This is what I think of when I think of a stout, kind of like a medium uh, mouth feel, not overly thick, not light, not thin, but it's got a nice kind of uh, just a medium mouth feel, really not too sticky, not too syrupy, just what you would expect from a stout. On the flavor, getting a lot of roasty, malty flavor. Not a lot of chocolate. The chocolate's in there a little bit. Not a lot of vanilla or marshmallow flavor. That's in there too, but it's not overpowering. It's really kind of subtle, subdued, kind of lays under the surface. But what I am getting is a lot of the roasty malt flavor. And with them mentioning having crumbled graham cracker in the, uh, in the brew, I was expecting it to have... I've had some beers like I had, for example, the one that always comes to mind is a key lime... Uh, sour kettle sour, I think from Ascension that has its graham cracker kind of crusty uh, crustiness in there. It's got a graham cracker crust like a key lime pie, and that has really kind of bursting um, graham cracker flavor in there. This I'm not really getting, and I feel like maybe some of the vanilla that I'm picking up um, on an aftertaste is maybe supposed to be representative of that graham cracker. It's got a sweetness to it. It, ha like I said, it has a little bit of a, like a marshmallow flavor to it, a little bit of a uh, chocolatey flavor to it, but they're really subtle. They're really in like deep in there. There's a sweetness in there, which I think is more the vanilla kind of sweetness that comes through. But what I'm getting a lot of is just like a regular run of the mill, roasty, malty, uh, roasted malt kind of flavor, which adds a little bit of that sweetness which I also think can sometimes kind of enhance chocolate flavors and um, vanilla flavors too, but I'm just, it doesn't seem like it's really enhancing. It almost feels like it's kind of detracting from it. And it's kind of, that's kind of the overwhelming, you know, element of this, of this stout. It does have a sweetness to it. It does have that kind of smoky quality. So in that respect, it can kind of remind you of a s'more, like by a campfire, you know, picking up some of that kind of smokiness. And again, I think that's from the roasted malty flavor that's coming through, but I'm not getting, it's got a sweetness to it. I, you know, borderline chocolate slash vanilla, not getting any real um, graham crackery kind of flavor, not getting, a you know, what I would expect to get out of something that calls itself a s'more. I would expect to get a lot more graham cracker, especially because they say that that's the first thing they say in the bottle. I would expect to get a lot more chocolate and, and you know, marshmallow, just in general. The whole package, I would expect to be a little bit more bursting with flavor. This one kind of reminds me a bit more of just like a, a sweeter stout. I mean, it's not it's just not wowing me. It's not giving me a lot of um, the flavors that were kind of advertised on the bottle. I would have liked to have seen, again, more marshmallow, more chocolate, more graham cracker, more of everything, a little, maybe a little bit less of those roasty, malty uh, flavors. But as for a stout itself, it's fine as a stout. But if you're going to go into buying a six pack or buying a four pack, I think it comes in a six pack. Most short stuff comes in a six pack. If you're buying a six pack because you think like this is going to taste like a s'more, it's going to remind me of campfires, you know, in the summer or on the beach or, you know, something like that or Boy Scouts or whatever, whenever you made s'mores. If you're going into it expecting that, I, I have a feeling I feel like you're going to be really kind of disappointed if you're going in just going to, you know, I want to get a stout that's new. I haven't had this one. Let's try it out. I think it's perfectly serviceable. It's a little bit on the sweeter side of a stout. I think if you're looking for a sweeter stout, like a milk stout, you might really enjoy this. But if you're going into it looking for those kind of s'mores characteristics, I have a feeling that you might you might be a little disappointed. All right, friends, that has been S'mores Stout from Shorts Brewing Company. Have you had a chance to try this? Maybe even around a campfire? What do you think? Am I spot on? Am I totally off base? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer. Now, mostly Michigan beer, but it's always twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And guess what? It's also always free for viewers just like you, and you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. Also, of course, I want to start incorporating your questions via text, voicemail, whatever, on the Draft Therapy hotline at 224-DRAFT20. There's also going to be a link to a Discord server where we talk about, you know, craft beer, type all types of beer from around the country, not just Michigan, but everywhere. Join in on the conversation by clicking the Discord link below this video. 
So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer. Support your local breweries wherever they are. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.